Hi chat, how are you? <laughs> Sorry it took me a minute to start stream. I have poor time management skills. That's that's literally the only reason. But um, as you can see, I was working on trying to figure out how to get chat box on the screen in an aesthetically pleasing way. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to put exclamation point socials in chat and we'll watch it. That was inconvenient. It didn't pop up. <laughs> on the screen how I wanted it to, but I'm working out the kinks. I'm working on it. By the way, I know it's an odd thing, but I can make you a server on Discord, so yeah, just let me know if you want me to. Just tell me what you want me to put in it if you want me to. See, I, first of all, thank you so much. That is so kind of you, because you guys know that I'm just awful at... <laughs> so bad at um, the internet and technology. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the chat box. I'm so bad at technology, which is part of the reason I haven't made a Discord. The other part of the reason is because I feel like to have a Discord, I need someone who's going to mod it. <laughs> and I don't have, like, legitimate mods. I have me, and I have my friends who are definitely not going to mod it. <laughs> Just because, you know, they have lives. Hello, Tiny. Welcome. Is that a new username? I like it. I like the big bright green letters. But, um... I, and the thing is, is I can, like, find mods and, like, I can open up, uh, like, I don't know, I guess, like, a forum, for lack of better terms, to get mods. But I never hear anything good coming from having mods that are people you don't know, you know? Like, we've seen a lot of Discord <laughs> problems lately with, like, people's Discord mods, and it makes me nervous. But I've been thinking about it, and you're absolutely right, I should make- I should have a Discord. And the- yeah, that was only part of the problem. The other problem is I don't know how to make a Discord. <laughs> so I might actually take you up on that. Not at the second, but I might. I'm gonna try that again and see if that fixed it. Yay! Got my whole command in there this time. That's my socials on screen. <laughs> um, I wanted it to be smaller for when I go to the actual gameplay. Um, I'm gonna fiddle with that one, but I'm gonna add it to the gameplay. A chat box to here as well. Yeah, I'm gonna add my existing source. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it works. So this one I'm gonna change to make a little bit smaller just because I don't want it to take up the whole space of the uh, game. I don't want it to be too, I want it to be 200. There. Today we're going to play um, more Little Misfortune. I don't remember how far we got in the game. I think we just finished the Phantasmagoria. So the, um, like the spooky fair. I don't know how much more is after that, because to be honest, out of all the things I remember from this game, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and then like the bad part. But I want to, I just maxed out my mic. I'm so sorry. I'm a little excited today. <laughs> I'm excited to be doing... Uh, anything. Yay! I feel like there were more things I had to say, but I got so excited by having chat box on screen <laughs> that I just, I don't, I don't remember. I'll rem if I remember them, I'll tell you. <laughs> so let's just continue. She's so dang cute. Let me know if the music's too loud. <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. Toy graveyard. Oh, my Sally Face stuff came finally. That's awesome! It was the, um, it was the mask, right? How long did it take to get it? What time is it? It's getting really dark. It Mr. Is Voice, dark. are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. What's coming? Oh, it's our bestie! Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, bye. A parkour master. Hmm. Rock. <laughs> Check this out, Stony. This is your family, see? From the woods. Say hello. 
And now, say bye-bye, baby Stoney, because we're leaving. Oh, damn it. My oh, little no. foot got stuck. Not your little foot. It's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> oh. Oh, God. I'm responsible. Leave me alone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Misfortune. <laughs> Slow down. What are you running away from? You were the one that told her to run and hide. I'm pretty sure it was the fox. It was not the fox. Uh, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is he filming? <laughs> don't make any sudden moves um, I should play dead probably <laughs> don't touch her with your filthy paws you beast stop it you're scaring him away Don't leave Benjamin. No, Benjamin. Like a month of his pictures, the mask, the SF shirt, and just a lot of pictures I have on my wall in the South thingy to find the ghost. Please, you got a lot. Right. That's awesome. And listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt. And I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me. It's dangerous. Stop running, please. I would like to keep running after Benjamin, to be honest. I don't trust Mr. Voice that much. Oh, please be careful. That was almost my fault. I'm sorry. Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Mr. Voice, I feel like you did that on purpose. I could have been more specific, like... There's a bear trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who left the bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Yes, I do fox. fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. So you're like homophobic against foxes? Eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. Ew. I didn't even. I don't even know what he said last because I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not what I was expecting from that. Can I put my thingies in here? My rocks. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck. Huh. The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. Hmm. Right. I don't know what that means. There's a lot of cryptic messages oh in here. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Achieve and unlocked Hey Doc Hey Doll number six. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> so, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Why do you keep asking me questions? Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic absolutely yes yes i do when mommy and daddy scream i go to my secret hiding spot and in my secret spot they never drink juice and never scream at me that's magical don't you think <laughs> oh yes yes it is my sweet child moving on second question do you trust me I don't, but I feel like he's going to be mad if I say no, but I'm still going to say no because I'm an honest person. No, you're just a voice in my head. Mommy talks to herself a lot too. 
She says it's her inner demons and that they just keep them away. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, are you my inner demon? Me? Probably. A demon? <laughs> no. Nah, you can't be a demon. Not with that silly voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Now, for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Um, if I'm answering as her, I feel like she's probably not. Uh, I don't know. I feel like afraid's maybe not the word even I would use, so I'm going to say no. No, I'm not afraid of death because all, all, all dead people I know never came back from being dead. So it must be pretty cool to be dead. <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Don't be weird about it. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know. <laughs> hey, look at that. Oh, I love thunderstorms. I think we're here. Thank you, man. Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I oh my god, where is house? While you go inside and look for clues, I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. Mm. Can't believe we're going to Benjamin's house. Why is why is there an imprint of him on the door in blood? Oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. I bet he's he so must strong. Be so muscular. Oh my God, we thought the same thing. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Be brave, Miss Fortune. Be brave. Okay. I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share the prize with us and everything will be fine. It looks so cozy in here. Oh my god, with the incense going and the TV and the... F I don't know why there's feathers hanging from the ceiling. The blanket and the book. Okay. Whoa, a video player. Bonsu! Bonsu! Let's see. Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> Is that the monster? Damn it, I broke Benjamin's tape. Why was he recording himself? Maybe I can fix it. C can I? Happiness to the video player! Yay! <laughs> Is this uh, his diary? What a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? Oh, is it? I kind of want to read it. For the sake of story, I want to read it. I'm just gonna have a little look inside. By Benjamin Juhanilius Red Fox. By Benjamin Juhanilius Red Fox. I knew his name was Benjamin. <laughs> so Benjamin is not from open fields? I bet he has an accent. <laughs> I love that in a fox. <laughs> I must make dangerous mission. Mission must be done. Is what I trained to make. Nervous, but is okay. I have study and bigger confidence. I travel from Cenericity to Pandora when fox appear when fog appears. I pack things and food. No information on how long stay. I rent cabin until work done. My task important. Boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. Victims of the big monster? After a long after a long walk in fog, I arrive city, called Open Fields. Tiny town has good forest. Cabin very nice. Has TV. Kitchen. I sleep sofa. I decorate cabin. Fish balls smell funny. Eat mushrooms in woods. I refresh after sleep. Try find parasite. Did not find it. Day one fail. So I guess the monster is called a parasite then. Parasite, you say? Parasite? Many victims gone missing in parasite game. I can't help. I feel sad. I send a message to boss. Some victims not coming to Cenercity. I see parasite. It scared me. 
Also, not eat more mushrooms. Stomach ache and much gas is no good. Don't eat this mushroom again. Good idea. Um, I'm assuming that's where all the missing children are going, is... He said something about a game? I guess the parasite's luring them into a game? Oh, I find it hard to believe that anything's luring. Anything that scary is able to lure children. Who are the victims? What game? And he's afraid of the parasite? I'm having a thought, but I don't know if it's true yet, so I don't know if I want to, like, expose my thing. Mushrooms, serious danger. <laughs> that drawing? Not feel good. Danger mushroom. I stay home. Cut wood and do tea and root soup. Good taste. I do dolls for victim and pictures. If she sees them, good. I bet it's Mr. Voice. You were thinking the exact same thing I'm thinking, Leo. I do dolls for victim and pictures if she sees them good. So, Mr. Voice, you're looking kind of sus right now. I definitely have a lot of those dolls that he was leaving around in the pictures. Hello, SS Wit, welcome! Oh, Parasite recognized Morgo code P-0101222. It likes to play. I has guide for steps. Courage tomorrow. Now rest until stomach good. Uh, so, are we gonna die today because Mr. Voice is gonna kill us? Like, is that what's up? I'm not down with this. Oh, poor Benji. <laughs> Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo know I'm here. Morgo play old trick many times now. Would it make mistake? One victim can hear its voice inside her head. escape a voice in our head. <laughs> How long ago did this dream start? Uh, about 25 minutes or so. Not too long, but this is the second part of Little Misfortune. I streamed the first half of the game uh, Tuesday. I think I know why it happens. Ugh, I'm nervous. We gotta escape. So is the voice's name Morgo then? But it make mistake one victim can hear its voice inside her head. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. Scary. So then all the times that Miss Fortune is seeing this little, um, Morgo, the monster, is that him thinking that she's in a vulnerable spot and he's gonna try to attack her, but then she somehow, like, escapes it? Did I? Hmm. Missing a voice? It's a monster! I wonder if she's starting to catch on. Boss send me message. Watch victim house. I sleep outside house. Hide in trash. I fail find parasite. It did not come today. Big trouble. Misfortune watch me. Strange. That's a really adorable drawing of her. Why she see me? She big eyes. I run away. Felt warm in stomach. Maybe mushrooms tickle again. <laughs> big trouble? Misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. Oh, misfortune. <laughs> I see Morgo play old trick again. Victims don't realize all is again. All is again. Must courage and stop Parasite this time. I send many victims to Sinner City. I got level 2 protector. I confident. Now I has Primeve Illumination came. I don't know what that is. All is again? Oh, shake out Benji's stick. Oh, that was- wait, that was the stick he was holding earlier. Right. I try Primeve Illumination Cane in Woods. Fun. I feel courage. Practicing to help misfortune. Oh, so maybe the, the Illumination Cane is what makes him visually materialize. Okay. I feel courage. Practicing to help misfortune. I see she makes too much talk. I think she fun and strong. That's really cute. More good confused by charms of misfortune. I did video picking wood and parasite came, but I'm scared now. I scared only little. Hmm. Yes, I know how to talk. He loved me. <laughs> I message boss I'm doing it today. All steps followed. Prepared breakfast tea. Funny feeling with tea. Herbs from woods are fun. I'm courage and confident today. I ready. I like Benji. If Benji has a boss, he has a job. Then I can be married to him. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, I guess that's it. For his diary. We just got a lot of lore from that. 
with Solo TV. Yeah. Okay. What's on your bookshelf, Benji? He's decorated a lot in the time that he's been here. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that enough, folks. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? It's not doing anything. Okay. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that. Is this a funky tea? Mmm. That tea smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blend. Because I can almost smell his paws blending the ingredients. That's Maybe a little weird. I should try it out. Uh, yeah, I'll try it. It definitely tastes like his fluffy paws. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Oh no. Uh, I feel weird. I made a bad decision. <laughs> oh. Romantic chewing. Oh, it's so wet. Oh. Oh, they're cute. Wait, no! Welcome, Dirt Nap. Welcome back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was my fault. Might be. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, Benjamin. Benjamin, I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry, you can hold my hand if you want to. <laughs> oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Your diary! I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is it the monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Hmm. You can't hide the children. All the Benjamin are staying in the cabin. I did not like the tone of his voice, and I have not trusted Mr. Voice this whole time, so I'm gonna follow Benjamin. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Uh, I forgot I can run. I had a really uh, smart thought and then I lost it, so never mind. Benjamin, where do you go? Oh. What's this? Oh no, is this Benjamin? Is he a pile of fur? There's a hole behind the painting. Huh. Hello? Can we get in the hole? I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. You are. What if I bring it? What if we bring this stuff stool? And I has. Uh huh. Such a clever little lady. Oh, I am. Thank you. What's this game about? It's about this little girl named Little Misfortune. She's from a bad family, I guess. And she starts hearing this voice in her head one day. Um. And the voice on her head leads her on some sort of weird adventure way out of her town. But I'm starting to get suspicious that the voice in her head's trying to kill her, and I'm starting to think that I'm right. Time to use my ninja skills. And there's a fox, a sexy fox. Shh, what a bad crack. <laughs> Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. Oh, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Benjamin, are you here? Such a little lady. 
so it was Benjamin placing these, but Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Yeah, I don't think they were necessarily for you. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Huh. Oh, I remembered my smart thought. I remembered my thought. Um, so the, if the whole goal of the monster, the voice in our heads, whatever, assuming they're the same thing, if the whole goal was to get us to f leave our house and find the eternal happiness, and then we dug we dug up where the eternal happiness was supposed to be and it wasn't there, obviously it wasn't actually eternal happiness. What were we supposed to find? Like, what was supposed to be there? Am I supposed to go in here? Huh, it's locked. Hmm. Or face. Would it perhaps be this key, mm, Elmo? A picture of a key. Interesting. Could I perhaps move? It looks like it's on hinges. Can I open it and find the key? My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Mine too. I'm actually a world-renowned ninja, if you guys didn't know. Hmm. A real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> <laughs> a secret button. A real ninja leaves her fingerprints all over the scene. Push the button? Absolutely. What could go wrong? Alright then. I push the button. Yay! Ooh. That didn't open how I expected it to. That was easy. <laughs> Alright, time to find Benji. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I Why is she just staying on the ground? Happiness. Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. Come on, baby, get up. Get up, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Miss Fortune, get up. You are stronger than you think. You got this. You got this. You've been knocked down before. Many, many, so many times you've been knocked Did down. Did you let that stop you? N you always get back up even when you face plant in your vomit. Get Every up, time. Miss Fortune. You can do it. You can do it. Because... Because you're such a little lady! Because... And you have glitter in your pockets at all times! You are the little lady, Miss Fortune! Yes! <laughs> now let's go find Benji. Oh, I haven't heard much from Mr. Voice lately. He's been oddly quiet. Okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Benji? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Hmm. Also, I don't remember if I actually put it... Ooh. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. <laughs> Dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sweet. That was just really wholesome. Yes! Um, I don't remember if I put it in chat at the beginning of um, the game, but exclamation point TW for trigger warnings for this game. It's all the same ones from yesterday, but if this is, is your first time Benjamin's in the stream. Bug? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. You can mm, suck my left you dick. Are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. Really? I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children, and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that. Then play with me. You're you need dead. to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. 
I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What did you do to him? Freaking monster. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. Oh, Is that Benjamin as a baby? Oh, so cute. A little weird to carry around your own baby picture, but it is very cute. Achievement unlocked Hey Doll number seven. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. So... So there's nothing I can do. Is her fate sealed no matter what choices I made? My dad called so I can't watch the stream for a while. You're totally fine, no worries. <sighs> okay. UST. For students of the University of Center City Technology. Protect our course. Three-step guide. Three-step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond. Intr introduction. As the ultra-reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside the constituted FREE, five realms of existential ex existence, have appeared. After the ultra-war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the beyond. Oh, this is really mysterious. Oh, this Oops. is really mysterious. The beyond, in, the beyond is, in civil terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We cannot allow such beings inside the FREE at the moment, since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra-reality, before the ultra-war. The beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect it, connect with it in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them to center city. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to center city. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step one. Okay, well, before I read the steps, all of the missing children were obviously victims, and they're all ghosts. So did they die to the voice, or was Benji successful in taking them to Synercity? And if he was successful in their ghosts, does that mean she has to die to get there? To be safe, she has to die? Oh, I have so many questions, okay. Step one, the protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protector's parasite case, P colon 0101222, Morgo. Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead, but doesn't realize it. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. So, which one of these are we? Welcome, Groovy Ghoul! Welcome! I hope you're doing well. You're a new face! Welcome! <laughs> um, I know that was a really cheery greeting. I'm like... <laughs> I'm so, so, is, I know this is probably not the one that it is out of all of these options. I'm going to assume Misfortune is not our real name, and that's why we need this instance, and it's not because we're dead, and we're definitely not sympathizing with the parasite. Oh, okay, hello! Oh, that's an awesome name. I like that. That's super awesome. Well, welcome back then. <laughs> I fear. The parasite. <laughs> That's all she have to say about that. Checklist of Parasite P colon 0101222 Morgo. 1. Deforms reality into absurdity. We've definitely seen that. 2. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. Accurate. 
Three, it shapeshifts into a human animal creature. Four, it quickly learns about the environment. Language and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Five, large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. We've also definitely seen that. Oh, I'm not liking the looks of our odds here. Step two, use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Hold on. <laughs> Why is my sister texting me at midnight to ask if I'm literally busy? Yes, I am. Um, okay. So, could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind if the parasite kills the victim. Okay, so. Blanked? I like the blanked. Oh, I don't. I, f I don't want to flip the page. Oh. Ooh, 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 prepare for direct contact with with the what? Now I will never know. <laughs> Craft single cell. <laughs> that's like the that's like the Walmart. That's like the daytime stripper. Velveeta is the like fabulous nighttime stripper, and Craft Singles is the daytime on a Tuesday stripper. <laughs> it's really funny. I just wasn't expecting you to say that. Okay, anyways. So, are we dead? Oh. I fear. She literally wants me to... She wanted me to cut her hair. It is midnight. On a Thursday. Friday now. Why would I... <laughs> Why? Alright. I guess I'll take the train back home. Wait, no. We have to find Benji. We can't go home. So this is... Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. <laughs> yeah... What? Okay, I'm... I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. Okay. Oh. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin, and now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> you go, girl. Is Hero trying to warn us? Is maybe he's like our protector or something? Oh, I get to color. How do I? Oh. Oh. I'm using a keyboard for this. That is not going to be easy. Can I? Uh. Penis. 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't feel inspired. Uh, yeah, I don't either. Uh. Hello, oh, hi, Hero. I didn't recognize you. Hmm. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? What does that mean? Now, Hira, what does it mean? It's the monster! Leave Hira alone! Tatsukata! Uh, uh, help your own! Take him. Oh, I was sure about it. Ugh. Now that I've got my daily trauma. In. I hope I get to see Hiro again. I have <laughs> some quality art things. To him. Oh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Uh. Oh. Can I keep going on? No, oh, okay. Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. Aww. At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. True, you... at least you did that. Ugh. Do you think the monster started to become fond of her? At some point? Hi teens! Hello teens! Uh, hello fellow teenagers! It's me, one of you. Why does this one kind of look like Corpse Husband? Excuse me? I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. Misfortune, please. Language. Here we go. Mm. I know he's here. Look at his little rascals in the road. Run across the road, because we forgot to look both ways and we don't want to get hit. Huh. Where's the car? Is daddy gone again? Oh. Yay. <laughs> Might be for the best that daddy's gone. I don't like the ominous red glow coming from our house right now, but I'm gonna go inside We anyways. got red lights. I like them. Yeah? You don't think it's a little ominous? The kitchen Mommy, looks oddly empty. I'm back. Hello? Looks like no one lives here. For some reason. What's that sound? I was Bang just wondering it? the same thing. Her and I, we're like connected on the same level. Mm. I broke Hello? this location. Mommy? Bangy? Where's all our stuff? Here? Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. And I don't even that. care anymore. Of course you care. You know your Mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. No, it yes, is not. I guess you're right. Good. Good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone, Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. I have a feeling I won't. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child. 
from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute, didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait, stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. You literally won't, though. Deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this. Uh, eternal happiness? No deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... Wait. What? No deal. No. No. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I promise you know the way. Girl, you should know by now. Huh, is this a new dance song? We're not gonna dance this time? We're too sad to dance. That's okay, I'll turn it off. At least we have our unicorn here. Mr. Boy scares me again. I'm gonna run and hide in here. Sounds like a sounds like a plan. I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. It's possible. Okay, okay. let's. I'm just gonna play his game oh. one last time. At least so of our. Uh... Not gonna run this time. No, no, no. Okay, I lied. I, I ran. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're scaring me, stupid. Leave me alone. Knock, knock. No, 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 no. Knock, knock. No. Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, knock. Run, girl. What happened here? My secret spot. He won't knock, find me in there. Oh, Ryan. Knock, knock. Why are you standing still? Knock, knock. Open this door <laughs> right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Where's a sexy fox when you need Most him? Dumbly. Teach me how to be brave. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your life? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time. Ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You, you know tell what? him. I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Oh. Dude, shave your legs. You silly little child. Holy shit. Another toy for my collection. Dude, he's ripped. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Yeah. 
Yeah! Oh my god, he's so hot. Benjamin! Benjamin! Oh, bless. <laughs> How did you get here? There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. Yeah! Oh my god. No, she is. I don't think she's going to. I think we just saved her. Well, I shouldn't say we. I think Benjamin just saved her. <laughs> Actually, you missed a lot, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should have prefaced with that. <laughs> is everything back to normal now? God, I Benjamin hope so. Save me. Mangi, are you around? There's another doll. Damn, are you I thought you were saying damn about her not dying. Did you go outside? I don't think he's outside. Marco uh achievement unlocked hate on the marine. Marco is coming. Open your eyes. He is the voice in your head driving you mad. Marco is coming. Open okay. your eyes. <laughs> He's the voice in your head driving you mad. True. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Borgo is kind of a cool name. Benjamin, where are you? Well, at least... Oh! I guess we're back in our original world where we already tripped and fixed the vase. Mother! Yeah, hot voice that no, you did not. Mother! Are you still cooking something gross? Oh, you're not here. Uh, your cigarette is still lit. Uh... Mommy? Oh, mother! Why are you sad, mother? Why... Why is there a policeman? ignore me are you angry because i couldn't get the happiness for you wait what what's happening Mommy? no don't cry i'll cry this must be a bad dream i think i knew which i think i think i knew I think I know which level of help we were. <gasps> Is that my little lady arm? tears right now. Then you walk really fucking fast. Bengi, wait. Are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Mm. 
Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bungie, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while, but you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. Stop! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. What the hell? Crying is more for off. <laughs> She did not deserve this. Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Benji? Benjamin, where are we going? Walk there, we can both walk faster. <gasps> oh, Puppy! I'm so happy to see you again! Wait for me, Puppy! Is he like taking us to heaven or whatever? Oh! oh. That was weird. There, we run. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, Veggie, where are we going? The dog is really enticing, but also, where where are we going? Oh my god! Why are they so thick? Why does his mouth look like that? <laughs> oh. My gun. It's really cold. I'm coming, don't worry. Can I pet the dog this time? Yes! 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 Okay. The frame ball references. That's right! This is made by the same creator as frame ball. Oh, it's so good. Benjamin, go! Oh, please be careful, puppy dog. I come. There's another hay doll. Uh, achieve and unlock hay doll number nine. All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh. I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. I guess so. Benji? So is this the Synercity place? May I please look at the door? Thank you. Oh. Who are you? I'm, I'm a little lady. Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. Oh. 
Is that Benji's boss? Where are we? Why are three of the leaves what not going? What is this place? I, I don't know, I can't see. She's been unlocked somewhere else. Oh my god. That was so good! <laughs> That's so sad. Natalia Martinson, Henrik Norman, incredible voice actors. And Natalia was one of the people who wrote it as well. Just amazing. I'm just gonna let the credits roll. I have so many feelings, <laughs> I don't... <sighs> so I was right the whole time about Mr. Voice being a bad guy. Oh my gosh. But I still have so many questions. What was the eternal happiness? Like, what was he doing? Was he just... What, he guided her across the... Across the road and she died immediately, and so the rest of that was just us kind of vibing? In... Purgatory? And then for some reason... Our eternal happiness quote quote was stolen away. So then we had to chase Benji for it, but why would Mr. Voice make us do that if he knew that Benjamin was trying to- Well, I guess it makes sense as to why Mr. Voice hated him so much. It makes sense. Oh god. Okay. Ugh. Voice over recordings produced at Lilith Sister Studios. Directed by Isaac Martinson and Natalia Martinson. Wow, that was just good. I don't even have anything else to say about it. What do we think? You have to go, that's totally fine. You have a good night, SS Split. Have a good night. It was good having you here. Um, for everyone else that's hanging out, what did we think? I don't know if, I feel like some of you guys have played this before or seen it before. I like it. I mean, I've obviously, I don't want to say that I've played it before. I watched someone play it a very, very long time ago, but I did not remember <laughs> that that happened. That really caught me off guard. I'm glad I caught the rest of it. Yeah, me too. It is sad. So, okay, so I guess translation produced by Commande Games. Originally... Oh, so they have this game in Russian, German, Spanish, French. I'm assuming that... Oh, Japanese as well. Brazilian, Portuguese, English. I'm assuming this game was originally in Russian. Or a Russian game. How long has this game been out for? Kinda sad, but a good story. I agree. Now I gotta think of what games we want to play next. That was kind of short. I thought there would... I don't know how far thing it would be. I, maybe we should play a little bit of GeoGuessr to end the night. I feel like it's early for me to end already. <laughs> how do we feel about playing GeoGuessr? I'm going to... Oh cool, That's, that place still went I'm not... You've never heard of GeoGuessr? Oh well, you're in for a treat. Everyone here loves GeoGuessr. <laughs> and I haven't played it in quite a while. Okay, 2019, that answers my question. That can't be right. It's been longer than that, hasn't it? I was gonna say 2017, 2018. Um, I don't know if... Uh... Ruby Ghoul is still here. They love GeoGuessr. Or at least they're very good at it compared to me. <laughs> but that means I'm going to have to pull up... Um, I'm going to have to take a minute to pull it up, so you're going to have to be patient with me while I work on it. Or we could play GeoGuessr or we can watch YouTube videos. But you're going to have to suggest <laughs> what types of videos we watch. Haha, uh, nice. I feel like I've played the same three games for the last five years for the most part. Which games? I haven't really been able to play games up until this year again for the longest time because I didn't have a computer. Until this last December. Come on, please pull up. There we go. Wait, I have to log in. That means I have to remember my login. <laughs> the fuck is my login? Uh...
typing ASMR. There we go. Ah, oh, that's fun. Can we YouTube watch? Sure. 